I really had no choice but to write this book because I was a journalist, a storyteller who came out of the worst part of the worst fire anybody could remember. She survived the epic Cedar Fire and lost neighbors, her home, and nearly her own life. She wrote a book called The Fire Outside My Window about how to survive a fire as well as recounting her own harrowing experience. This morning joining us, journalist and author of the book called The Fire Outside My Window, Sandra Miller's Younger. She's joining us with some tips. From Sandra Younger, the author of a book about the largest wildfire in California history. Here to talk about her experience escaping this fire is Sandra Younger, author of the new book, The Fire Outside My Window. Sandra Miller's Younger, welcome to daytime. Sandra Miller's Younger joins us, and thank you so much for being here. What is the biggest mistake that people make in terms of preparing for a disaster? Biggest mistake is ignoring red flags. You see this? If I had looked at the newspaper the morning the cedar fire hit mm -hmm. i would have known that fire danger that day was critical okay, the next one you say is neglecting critical preparations that's right do you have your precious items together in one place so you don't have to go running crazy all over the house like i did the third big mistake is waiting too long to leave what is the formula to survive a natural disaster i call it the live formula to okay. survive a natural disaster. Okay. L means listen to your gut. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're in danger, you probably I are and should act accordingly. I is to inform yourself, watch the news, the weather, get a scanner app for your iPhone to see what's happening in the field in real time. V, value yourself more than your possessions. Don't waste precious seconds loading your car. And e, evacuate early, that's the biggie. We ended up driving through flames and you don't want that. I wrote the book as a tribute to the people we lost, as an official documentation of this historic event. So I hope that people understand why these things happened. I hope we can lay to rest some of the misconceptions that have persisted since the fire. And I hope people realize that the story is really about the triumph of the human spirit, even in the face of adversity. The book is available online and in all the local Barnes and Noble stores. And if people, um, go see my website fireoutsidemywindow.com they can order the book and download a copy of all my tips for wildfire preparedness sandra younger says she hopes by spreading her story about the cedar fire other people can be safe when disaster strikes